Buried and left for dead, a dog from Moses Lake digs its way out of a shallow grave and returns home days later. Now this miracle dog is getting treated at Washington State University's vet school. KXY 4 is Erin Luna working for you with the story of Thea. And this is very quite the miraculous story. This dog was hit by a car, bludgeoned in the head, and then left for dead only to return to its home four days later. Now it's down here in Pullman on the WSU campus with the veterinary teaching hospital where vets are going to try some very cutting edge technology to return this dog to a normal life. By all accounts, one year old Thea should not be here today. They hit her over the head and they buried her. The mutt from Moses Lake started out life on the streets. Her story, truly one of survival. I felt bad and I stepped up and I said, well, you know, I can foster her for a few days. Sit down, sit. When Sarah Milato first met Thea, all she knew was that Thea had been hurt and needed a home. But that was only half the story. So there was a lot more to her injuries than I was, you know, first informed of. Here's the other half of that story. Out on her own, Thea wandered into a local shop. The employees sort of adopted her, but when she was hit by a car, they didn't think she'd make it. Down by bashing in her skull. The nurse had to bring me a, a box of tissues because it was just, it was, I was horrified. They only succeeded in breaking Thea's sinus passage and knocking her out, thinking she was dead. They boxed her up and closed the box, threw it in the ditch and put some stuff around it and called it good. But this good-natured pup would have the last laugh as she dug her way out four days later. And the guys, from what I hear, were freaked out. They were going crazy, like they didn't want to go near her, they didn't know what to do. Using crowdsourcing, Milato raised over 20 grand to bring Thea to Pullman and the WSU Veterinary Teaching School, where veterinarian Boel Franson will try to reopen her nasal cavity. In my mind, the more difficult medical issue, and that is to how are we going to let this remain open. The art of the surgery will determine more of the success than the science, but if it works, Thea will once again be able to breathe through her nose and maybe more importantly, regain her ability to smell. But that's not her biggest hurdle yet. She still needs a home. My girls are already asking to keep her, so it makes it even tougher. The long road home for this furry fighter getting a little bit shorter and hopefully smelling oh so sweet. So veterinarians today will draw a little blood from Thea, get her prepped for a transfusion tomorrow. Then she'll head here. This is the anesthesia room right before she goes into surgery. Of course, you can follow her process Progress along with us at KXLY.com and our social media sites. Reporting in Pullman, Aaron Luna, KXLY 4 News.